Hey, my name is Christopher Millo and I teach 11th grade science at High Tech High Media Arts in San Diego, California. Um, I had the pleasure of seeing Joe Truss speak in September of 2019. Um, he came to our school, uh, to the High Tech High Graduate School of Education and um, did our equity deep dive. He was uh, the keynote speaker for that. Um, and I had the opportunity of meeting with him afterwards and talking to him a little bit one-on-one. -on -one. Um, one of the biggest things that I took away from my time meeting with, uh, hearing Joe speak and, and meeting with him, um, was the being comfortable naming white supremacy culture. Um, it was something that I was diving into in my master's work. Uh, I was pursuing my master's of education and doing some work related to the intersections of trust and race. Um, so I'm going to share with you uh, a reflection that I wrote uh, following my um, meeting with Joe. Um, and I'm just going to read it. Uh, so I asked Joe a series of questions that were tailored to my school site with a specific focus on how to build culturally responsive staff. We discussed systems and the pitfalls of remaining neutral when it comes to issues of racial equity. To this point, he shared, and I quote, the system is not neutral, so how can we be? And also, quote, the system works well for those with privilege. How are we critiquing the system? And when we do, are we siding with the oppressed or the oppressor? We also spoke about the clarity of values and the moral compass of an organization, and that culturally responsive work must be mandatory because in most cases, it's treated as optional. As for moving this work forward at my school site and making change within the organization, Joe offered some steps. He suggested to form an anti-racist white affinity group as a response to BIPOC shouldering most of this work. Um, he also said to uh, involve black, indigenous, and people of color as co-conspirators, which is a quote from Dr. Bettina Love um, in this work, and also to make the demands to the organization as a collective group. Excuse my dog sparking. Um, as far as designing and leading culturally responsive PD, Joe said to build the learning space to feel equipped to be racial racially literate. I often want to push for this work to move faster because I know we're already out of time. Um, but when thinking about crafting PD and after speaking with Joe, I, I want people to leave with a strategy in hand um, that they can implement immediately. But Joe cautioned me on this, um, stating that it's an unfair expectation because we first need to do a lot of internal work. Um, he also shared that this work can't be one and done and it must be the thread that unites all professional development. Um, posing a question like, and he shared, what's one question you will keep asking yourself about this work until we next meet? Could be far more powerful. Um, I also asked Joe about suggestions for including more black indigenous people of color voices in our staff meetings. Um, he suggested ideas like a voice equity tracker, um, as well as stating, the, the statement simply, we will hear from black indigenous people of color and women first. I appreciated how direct this statement was, how it speaks truth to power. Our conversation ended on the topic of leadership. Leaderships hold an incredible amount of agency. So the question then becomes, how is our school building the capacity of its leaders? Um, and that is just my thoughts from um, following the, the PD, uh, the deep dive that Joe gave. Um, it definitely changed the course of my master's work. I have since uh, graduated from the High Tech High Graduate School of Education um, with my Master's of Education in Educational Leadership. And without Joe's um, day of training, without his insight, without speaking to him one-on-one, -on -one, um, I would not have uh, gone forward in the work as confidently as I felt. So I would highly recommend his work to anyone interested in um, learning about white supremacy culture. Um, ways to dismantle it, ways to address it, um, and couldn't recommend it more.